Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we can iterate over the elements of an array. Suppose we have an array of students. These will be strings. Standard string. I'll name this array students. Set this equal to some student names. Pick a few. Spongebob. Patrick. Then Squidward. Suppose I would like to display all these students. Normally to do that, I would type standard output my array followed by an index number. So the first student would be SpongeBob, which has an index of zero. And my first student is SpongeBob. If I need to display all of the elements of this array, I would have to one by one access each element. Then I'll just add a new line. We have SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. If I need to display all of the elements of an array, a better approach would be to use a for loop. I'm going to type for parentheses curly braces. We'll need an index, int i. I'll set this equal to zero because the first element in our array has an index of zero. I'll continue this as long as i is less than the length of our array. Currently it's three. Then increment i by one. During each iteration, I would like to display each element. Standard, output, students. Now instead of an index number like 0, 1, 2, or whatever, I'm going to use my counter variable, i. Students at index of i. During the first iteration, i will be 0, then 1, then 2. Once we reach 3, we'll stop. I'll add a new line. This for loop will print the elements of my array. Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward. There's one issue with this, though. What if we add another student? Such as Sandy. Well, this for loop will stop once i reaches 3. If we make any adjustments to this array, we would have to go into our code and make some changes, such as setting this for loop so that we discontinue when i reaches 4. This would work, but it's not the best solution. For our stopping condition, in place of just setting i to be less than some number, let's calculate how many elements are within this array. To do that, we can use the size of operator. I'll type size of my array. This will give me the total size in bytes of my array. To calculate the number of elements, I can divide size of students by the size of the data type, string, or even an element. This will loop through all of the elements of this array. Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. If we change the number of elements, well then there's no need to touch this for loop. It will calculate the size automatically. See, now we just have Spongebob and Patrick. Let's create one last example. I'll create an array of grades. Char grades. We have an A, B, C, D, then F. If I need to iterate over this array of characters, I would find the size of my array, grades, divided by the size of a character, the character data type. During each iteration, I will display grades at index of i, our counter. And this will display all of the elements of this array. So yeah, that's how to iterate over an array using a for loop in the next topic, I will explain the for each loop, which has different syntax. And well, yeah, that's how to iterate over an array using a for loop in C++.